Hello, tea timers. So um, don't fall over in a dead faint. You notice I've brushed my hair. Oh! <laughs> I have a little makeup on. That's because I just finished doing a uh, uh, Zoom talk, author talk with John Charles, who's such a sweetheart. He's at the, the Poison Pen bookstore in Arizona. It's such a wonderful bookstore. You can get signed books from like international, like fabulous, amazing authors from around the world from them. They're a great, great bookstore. Anyway, and 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 they interviewed me and uh, he's just such a sweetheart. And I met him in person. Well, I met him in person at a book conference, but then I also met him because I got to do a author thing with Jane at the Poison Pen. And so that's how I got to know him. And oh, oh. The best thing of all everybody always talks about his lemon lemon bars and when we wrapped up after we finished the talk he told me he's gonna send me the recipe so ah, I'm really excited because when I went I was like oh everybody's waxy lyrical about these lemon bars and um, and I then when we finished the talk and finished the signing I went over but the lemon bars were all eaten so um, he said he'll send me the recipe Yay! so I'm gonna make them I hear they're delicious. Um, okay, oh, so to, did I tell you? I'm drinking Darjeeling with a little bit of cream today. <sighs> it's just nice. That's my last um, like Zoom interview. I'm gonna be doing a Facebook thing with Susan Elizabeth Phillips sometime, but we haven't set the time. But I'm just done and, and it's been really fun talking about my stuff and, um, and just like thank you so much you guys for showing up to the to my book launch and and all of you who were like I bought your book I'm reading your book I loved your book it it's um it just makes the all the time I spent writing it feel worthwhile and oh oh and and a, a bunch of you have written reviews on Amazon thank you so much it's I know it's like a pain in the butt to do the Amazon and the reviews on the on the different things but you know if you like the book don't do it if you don't like the book <laughs> please don't <laughs> but if you like the book and you've read it then if you leave a review that's really wonderful because it um it just it's it's um it helps so thank you Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. You've just been wonderful. Like really, really wonderful. It's been, it's really wonderful. And um, so here we go. I'm gonna answer some questions. Um, okay, so Tammy Conley said, do you, Meg, or anyone know of books or websites on Southern tea parties? I live in Alabama and would love to learn more about the tradition. And then Pam said, me too. So I don't know anything about Southern tea parties. Um, you know, obviously if you read historical, you know about the, the you know, like um, English ones. And that's how I first fell in love with the tea and, and taking tea. And I mean, I drank tea a little bit, but it wasn't until I was, you know, in England and with an English person that I started t drinking tea as like, ah, and now it's just become part of my life. And I love going to those tea places, but I'm sure that they have places where you can do tea, but I don't know about the tradition. But I'm just saying this out there because one of, the thing that like blows my mind is how much you guys, the tea timers know. So I know there's somebody out there <laughs> who's gonna have some kind of, knowledge or resource that then we can share. So I'm just putting it out there. One of you might know about it and you can let us know. Okay, uh, Cyrus Stewart. Oh, Meg, congratulations on your book. I'm. This one made me really smile. A first smile because it's like, well, I'll tell, I'll tell you after. Oh, your book. I'm eagerly awaiting the webinar today. Have declined several other engagements since I'm way more, that's all capitalized way more excited about this. So that made me really happy because it's like, ah, thank you. Like you even had other things to do and you still were like choosing to do our, our thing. And I, I hope you enjoyed it. We had so much fun. It was, um, it was just, I don't know. I just, you can tell I get all like, ah, um, what is that? Who was that cartoon one that when he'd get embarrassed, he'd go, gosh, oh, Goofy. <laughs> 
can get goofy or a little bit around Jane. Um, please be careful about the haircut. So this is about the video I did last time where I was like, oh, should I cut my hair? She said, please be careful about the haircut. I tried it and have been off, that's capitalized, camera for a month because my rubber bands were a bit too close to my head. <laughs> oh boy, talk about short, capitalized. See you later. And I was like, that made me, <laughs> that made me laugh. And I'm sorry, because it's not funny, but it was. But you know what happened to me? Okay, so I did the tea time, our tea time. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because I've done it twice before. I've cut my hair. So I did the, the rubber bands, got my hair all wet, did the rubber bands, did the rubber bands underneath. And then I got the thing. And I was like, oh, do you really think you should do that? You've got your thing tonight. What? I'm like, no, I've done this before. Like I was being all jaunty. Like I've done this. I've got this down. I start cutting, right? And I'm sawing and I'm sawing and I'm sawing. I got my fancy scissors. I'm sawing and I'm sawing and I'm sawing and the darn thing's not coming off. Well, I'm in now. I start sweating. I'm, I'm in it now because like part of my hair's been cut off and I'm sawing and I'm sawing and I'm sawing and I'm think and I'm looking in the mirror. So it's hard to saw too because you're, you're looking and it's reversed. And I'm like, what happened to these scissors? Oh my gosh, they aren't cutting. And like bits and pieces and chunks are falling and I'm sawing and I'm sawing and I'm sawing and I'm sawing. And I'm like, oh no, what do I do? Finally, that one comes off and I go to the other and I'm trying and it's like really, 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 really bad. And I remember like Lou and um, there was somebody else who had helped me. Like I said, you have to have sharp scissors and I'd ordered special sharp scissors online so I could cut my hair. And they, I got the scissors out. I have a little box and they're wrapped in a little like, you know, cloth. And, and that, I'm like, these are for my cutting my hair. <laughs> Nobody touch them. I'm sawing, sawing, sawing. The other one, and I'm like, what do I do? And I can't stop. Now one half is the other. And it took a long time. I, I, I like, I probably could have just gotten a, a, one of the knives and done that. <laughs> it was like, that was how dull they were. I'm like, what the heck happened? And then I look at my husband and I said, did you use these? And I said, um, mm, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I said, honey, you were using, you were using my haircut. He says, that's right. You, I, I, I might've, what were you, what were you using it for? Like <laughs> chopping logs? He goes, well, I've been cutting the dog's hair with them. And the dog grows her hair a lot. Like, I've had three haircuts and I'm really grateful that Don, you know, took over cutting Anna's hair, but we had dog cutting hair scissors. <laughs> so anyway, so when I finished, now I'm getting like running, getting low on time. I still have to shower and put my makeup on, you know, get my, my Jade stuff ready and get an outfit. And so I'm like, okay, well, what do I do? So I did the two sides and then I did the back. So it was okay, except for then as I was put on my makeup, I noticed that um, I was, I had the asymmetrical, <laughs> I had the asymmetrical look. So now I fixed it up. Like, so they're most, most, mostly both the same, but this side, <laughs> this side was a good, like, this much longer than this side, but I didn't, I had already taken the rubber bands out. The rubber bands wouldn't do it now because I'd cut it so short and I couldn't, I couldn't, I was like, I don't have time. So I just decided to myself, even though it was a very important day, the culmination of like, you know, several years work or year and a half or two years, or I can't remember how long this book took me, but I decided uh, I'm not going to start messing with it because if I start doing that, I could get into real trouble because I do one and then do the other. So after I did it, so what I did is I, I just blew dry it so that you couldn't tell. And then and it's blow dry now because I, I had to talk to you because I had to, I got to talk with John. Um, and then I, I, then yesterday I took a comb and then I did this and this, this part had a really long bit to it, but I just pretended it was that fashion. You know how some fashions, they have one side longer than the other. And it was, I just told myself I was fashionable. And then I put my hair behind my ears and nobody could tell. <laughs> so I feel your pain. I feel your pain, Cypress. That happened to me too. Oh, uh, Tom Campbell. Meg gives a shout out to her cozy tea timers and the acknowledgements for the runaway heiress. Yes, I did. Because, um, because I was working on it when I was uh, doing the tea times and you guys really shored me up. And so, yeah, I did. 
I forgot, I forgot. And uh, let's see. Um, okay. So Jubal, would you talk about how it was appearing in the 1981 episode of Insight? Uh, it was called The Trouble with Grandpa. Um, with veteran character actor Elijah Cook Jr. I just watched an, the episode here on YouTube. It was so heartwarming. You and the late, great Mr. Cook were wonderful in your roles. I read that he was quite a character. He and his wife lived in Bishop near the California Sierra Nevada mountains. He only come down to LA when he was had acting roles. Um, and then Robert uh, also had mentioned that as well. So um, let's see. I don't remember a ton about it because it was so long ago. I remember I got the role because Amelia Stevis, who was in the first film I had a lead in, Tex, the movie Tex by S.E. Hinton, he had, he was a friend and he said, would you be willing to do this thing? We work with this company that was called, oh, what was it called? Let's see, I might have, somebody wrote it down, Paulist Productions. And you know, I was a new actor and I'm like, well, sh sure, um, sure, I'd be happy to. He said, it's for a real good cause. And they were a group of priests who were making films. And they had a, so I remember I went there and they had a, a production office thing in this building. It's a, on the Pacific Coast Highway. It's a really pretty white deco building. And there were stories about Fatty Arbuckle, some had some connection to the house, but I don't, I don't remember what. And I, I didn't really know I'd heard the name. He was like a really old, old time actor. And there was some kind of scandal, I think. But anyway, they were very nice. And I did the thing. I remember there was something, and there was a scene in Moon Shadows about the, the clam chowder, which made me be very curious about the clam chowder. And so then I got some clam chowder and, and it was pretty good. It, but he waxed lyrical about the clam chowder. So I thought it was going to be like the most amazing clam chowder I ever had. And it was, it was fine, but it, it, it wasn't all that the script said it was. <laughs> Maybe it is now, you know, you never know who the chef is. So I remember I did that with him. But what I do remember most about that is that my sister was trying to get her her Taft Hartley because it's kind of was a catch 22. You need to have a SAG card in order to go up for SAG things, in order to act in SAG things, but you can't act, you can't act in SAG things unless you have your SAG card. So people were always trying to get it and you'd first get your Taft Hartley and then you could get your SAG card, but you had to be cast in a th SAG thing in order to get your Taft Hartley or your SAG card. And I had mentioned it to them and they were very kind and they gave my sister like a little, I can't remember if it was a line or two lines to help get her, her Taft Hartley. And so that's what I remember about them is that they did that kindness just because it was kind and easy for them to do. But not everybody in Hollywood was like that. Actually, most people in Hollywood aren't. I remember when I saw the, the show, I, I wasn't, I was kind of embarrassed. I didn't think I was very good. But I don't know if I was really not very good or and if it was clunky or if it's just that uh, when I first started out, I found it very difficult to watch myself. So I, <laughs> I wasn't really pleased with any of my performances. There was only a few where I was where I felt like, ah, yeah, yes, you know. Um, so it's always that thing of trying to get better and trying to get better. Okay. <clears throat> answering a lot of questions today. Um, okay, Jameson, uh, fun time adventure. Did you know that Jamie Lee Curtis almost got the role of Mary Lomas in Psycho 2, but instead it was given to you? I didn't remember that, um, but then when I read this, I thought, oh, maybe there was some kind of vaguely remembering something about that because um, her, her mother was in the original one. And I think she would have been very good. She's done a lot of amazing work. And I just read an article about her talking about her, her um, tri you know, her finding her way to sobriety. And I just, I just think she's, you know, and I love that she's just, her face is her face. And, um, you know, so there's an awful lot to respect about her. And, and she would have been an excellent choice as well. Okay, Queen Tilly, you should try clotted cream and jam on a scone. They're so good. Um, oh, you know what you, I wish you guys could try? My husband makes the most delicious ginger scones ever, like ever. They're the best scones I've ever had. 
he didn't know how to make scones, but when we were in lockdown and it was my 60th birthday and um, we had all these plans to go out to all these different, like I was gonna do a year of celebration to see my way into my 60th decade and then the pandemic happened and I couldn't do anything. But one of the things we were gonna do is go for, go for high tea. And so I think I mentioned, I might've mentioned it. No, I probably didn't because well, anyway, he did a high tea and he learned how to, and I did too, cause I'm like, no, cause my birthday is on Valentine's day too. So I did, I did a bunch of things and he did a bunch of things. We had a lot of cleanup to do, but his scones, mm, 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 they're so good. Oh, why time has flown. Okay. So anyway, um, I, I, they, the poison pen also has the, the little, um, my signed book plates. So you can go there to get a signed book and I'll let you know when there, the video is going to be up. Cause I don't know when it's going to be up cause we just taped it. So anyway, thank you so much. And thank you everybody for your support for my books and for runaway heiress and, and just for, for being you and being so wonderful. Okay. Bye.